Okay, here I am with a brand new Compact Logix and L1, and I'm connected via USB. We had a previous video that showed you how to do that. Now I'm going to flash the unit to version 20 firmware. So let me show you how that's done. Let me come over here to the computer. I'm going to go ahead and start up a program called Control Flash. And there it is. I'll go ahead and launch it. And I'm just going to choose Local Directory. And I'm going to press Next. And here I have to find my processor. It's a 1769L16. There it is. So let's go ahead and press Next. Now it's asking me to select it. I am actually connected via USB. I'll press OK. Now it says I currently have version 24 and 20. So I'm going to go ahead and choose 20. And press Next. Here it's telling me the catalog number, serial number, and current revision of the unit I have. So out of the box, all Compact Logics and Control Logics have come at version 1 for many years now. So that allows you to decide what version you want to install in it. So let's go ahead and continue with this by hitting Finish. And it's asking us if we really do want to update the target device. We'll go ahead and click on Yes. And now we're being told if the SD card is locked and set to load, it may overwrite the firmware we're downloading to it. So we're not going to take a chance. We're going to go ahead and eject the SD card that came with the unit. And now it's just a matter of waiting for Control Flash to flash the processor. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up because this is going to take a little while. And now Control Flash is telling us it's been successful. And that's it for another edition of the Automation Minute.